The Reporting Analytics Hub is a product that we've developed and implemented for clients across numerous industries. It provides centralised access to reporting and analytics within an organisation. In many organisations, there are several different reporting technologies and different ways that employees can access enterprise tools without a single point of entry. They're often looking to have the ability to access these various reports from a central portal in order to reduce the challenges around accessing, sharing and organising information. The Reporting and Analytics Hub provides an entry point to simplify access and administration for both live reporting applications and static documents such as Excel and PDF files. Here are some of the challenges it addresses for different user groups. Content consumers increasingly face the challenge of having massive amounts of information available to them, often provided through multiple vendor technologies, and it can be hard to keep track of exactly what information is available, when it was updated and where they can find it. For sharing and collaboration, even if you only have one technology where you're delivering interactive reporting and analysis, users will likely collate information from all over the place. These documents then get saved to file shares, team sites, or emailed out to many more colleagues, and you can start to get a messy web of information delivery. From an administration point of view, with users having multiple places to access reports, it can become a headache to maintain. This also poses challenges to business users who would like to share reports or insights, but may not have the ownership over the reporting platform to be able to do so, and may have to spend more time going through IT processes than being able to manage information effectively. There are many valuable benefits seen by organisations that have adopted the Reporting Analytics Hub, such as increased productivity through centralised access, one version of the truth, providing reliable results and increasing trust in reporting outputs, a reduction in redundancy and duplication, the potential to discover new reports and insights that colleagues have produced, and an ability to track report usage. Let's take a look at the product in action. So here we are in the Thorogood Reporting and Analytics Hub. It's a web-based application and it's deployed through SharePoint Online, so it's entirely cloud-based infrastructure. This application has been deployed for our fictitious sister company, Thorogood Insurance, and it has a number of reports that we've uploaded into the system. Each of these tiles indicates a particular report, and you can see from the colours on the left hand side and the legend here that we've got reports in this system coming from Power BI, from Tableau. We've also got static documents, PDF, Word, Excel reports. They've been organised into the departments that they serve. So you can see your finance reports, market management reports, underwriting reports. And I can quickly search using the bar at the top to find a report that meets a, a need that I have. So if I search for property, you see it quickly filters the list. And what the engine in the background is doing is comparing that search criteria with the title of the reports, but also all sorts of metadata that we've uploaded and tagged this report with when we've added it to the system to make it easier for our colleagues to find it. If we take the underwriting exec report, for example, this is a Power BI report. And if I click the link, it takes me to the Power BI system straight to that report and allows me to interact with the data. So here we have a landing page I can go to page two and we've got some live visualizations. We've got filters down the left hand side that I can interact with and start looking at that data in more detail. Switching back to the hub now. I can clear that filter and up comes the full set of reports again. And on the left hand side, we have some more filters. These are all customizable. Uh, other ways of, collect, of finding data in this system. So we've got a data sources filter, for example. So we can find reports that are based on data coming from the CMS data source or from the EI data source or all data sources. We can look at measure groups, for example, and just select reports that talk to the written premium data set. And you can see when I choose a selection here, the filter icon appears to show me that a filter has been selected and I can mix and match and I can find Power BI reports that work with the written premium data set. Easy to clear those reports again. Now against all of these reports, you may have noticed this little three ellipses in the bottom corner. So I can choose to click here and up pops this uh, metadata view. So I can see here all of the data that's been tagged to the report when it was loaded into the system that feeds these filters and feeds the search engine in the background. We've also got a thumbnail so the user can get a preview of the report before they click through. We can see the frequency with which data is refreshed. 
We can look at the measure groups and dimensions that are included in that particular report. We can also see who the report owner is, who authored this report, and I can quickly contact them if I've got any questions about that particular report by clicking here on the mail icon and up pops the email client. We are here to share that report by sending a link out to colleagues using the same mechanism. I can also launch the report from here just as we did earlier by clicking the title, and I can add it to my own favourites list. We also have the ability, should you wish, to add a user guide and report specification information so that there's a bit more detail there for those who really want to dive deep into how this report has come about and how to make use of the, the data that it shares. So I've added this particular one to my favourites list. So now we can go over to favourites at the top there and here we are. Here's the list of reports or report that I've favourited so far. And if I've changed my mind, I can remove that from my list. So a nice quick way to find the reports that you use regularly and to keep them close by. Thanks for watching. If you're interested to learn more about the Reporting and Analytics Hub solution, please visit our website where you will also find contact details to get in touch.